And you can make this as dark or as light as you want. It blends in a little bit with the grayish background, but that's what smoke does, right? And I just keep going over it with more ink until I get the color I want. It's always better to put a little bit on and get gradually darker than to go too dark to begin with. Do around the edges so it stands out a little bit more. We're ready for our glue. Now this, I usually push it down in there a little bit so it looks like the bricks are the same color. You can also put a piece of paper behind the bricks, or the stone, sorry, whatever color you want. Put your smoke on there. Then your all is calm word, and then this card will be done. For those of you who have never made a slim line and you bought the kit, congratulations, you just made your first slim line. Now that you've made your first one, hopefully you'll be addicted and just have to have all of our slim line dies. We have three, well, we have two out right now. One releases next month, but we're going to try to do at least one a month for the entire 2021 year. Okay, there's that slim line. That card. Last card was our Happy New Year card. Or our take on the Happy New Year card anyway. It's been such an interesting year that my husband came up with a different design. He said, why don't you put the... 2020 year in the toilet so we did if you open up the car the year the mask and the germ are all in the toilet and on this one I did the toilet I purposely put it on backwards so that it would be showing through the outhouse door that way but that's not the way I put the adhesive on the new one so we're just going to roll with it let's start with the easiest part first that's our fireworks Everybody who bought a kit got four fireworks in it. Two fireworks from the sparkler die and two from our fireworks set. But I only used three of them because I thought the big firework from the fireworks set was a little bit much. I just kind of layer them. Try to layer them on the left side. see this one up here and then if you don't want your fireworks white you could also ink them a different color whatever color you want I just kind of wanted them white I don't know where to put this it's stuck to my hand there we go take your ribbon this ribbons from our stitched accent ribbons put it down kind of in the center then your happy new year word let's see where do we have some adhesive on here right there Didn't put much on there. Let's add some glue too. And this Happy New Year is from a set a few years ago. We still have some of them. But we have our It's a New Year word coming out next month to add to it. 
think we'll keep this one because I kind of like them both. Or maybe I'll do a new Happy New Year title next year. Ooh, a Happy New Year or a New Year's set to go with our seasonal words would be good. What kind of words would you put on that? Party, maybe? No. Okay, then we're going to do our outhouse. I cut another little piece of brown to go behind it so that when you put the outhouse down, you don't see the ribbon in the background. If you want to see the ribbon in the background, fine. If not, cut another piece of paper, whatever color you want. And that's where I'm going to line all of my pieces up. Let's see. We have a dry spot right there. Take your toilet. Just kind of use this as a guide because I face this the other way. I'm going to have to cut some of my toilet off. That's okay. As long as you get the idea. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Then in your toilet, you put your germ and your mask. The mask, you can ink also and make it whatever color you want. I think on my sample, I did it blue. I think we're gonna do it red right now. And I already have adhesive on it, so I'm not gonna push too hard. Just to make it stand out a little. my little white background piece for my toilet bowl. I have to put the inside of the bowl in. Okay. I'll put the mask in there and then the germs or the germ, virus germ. And then the small 2020 I put in the toilet bowl. You guys have the large 2020 in your kit too. That one I did not use. I just feared if I was cutting it out, I might as well throw it in there. That's why you have extra pieces for some of your dies, like the extra big deer because they're cut out on the cabin set. So why not throw them in? Okay. Put some adhesive on the back of that house, outhouse. Make sure you don't get it over the door part because you want the door to be able to open. more so I can put it down. Oh, better not forget to cut my the edge of my toilet off, huh? It'd be kind of funny having it stick out of the outhouse door. There we go. And then place your outhouse. Kind of like that. And the last step on this card is to take your 20 year and put it, I'm gonna put it right in the middle right now. And put it down lower on this. And then you have a goodbye winter title that's from our melting snowman. In your kit, I cut off the winter part so it just has goodbye. I know, I know, I'm always cutting my words apart, making you guys cut them all. Next month in January, we will be releasing a seasonal add-on words that will go with our summer, winter, fall, holiday words that has things like the, in, I think maybe A and all the words that I'm always cutting apart, they will be in that kit. All right, there's that. And then if you want, I didn't realize this till the other day, but that moon needed a little yellow piece. So I just put a little yellow piece behind it. If you want, you can do that. If not, you can leave it white. There is that card.
Okay, now we're done with the cards and everybody hopefully could hear me this time and nothing was cutting out. So we're gonna take you on a tour of the warehouse really quick and show you upstairs. Oh, I'm sorry. Evan's upset. He wanted to show everybody his turkey. His name's Henry Douglas Avocado. <sighs> See, I'm so proud of my 16-year-old. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to hang that on the fridge when we get home. It's not coming down for at least a month. <laughs> okay. This, for those of you who not, have not been to our warehouse, we wanted to take a second to show it to you quick because we do have a prop room with a full kitchen and everything that we let people come in and use. Um, right now with our state rules, that's gonna be a little hard, but when we open back up again, then we'd love it if you'd come visit us. We have some tools to use and all kinds of tables, lights, electricity. We tear it apart a little bit when we do our lives because we need room for our stuff. Let's take you upstairs where all the fun product is. Back there behind that wall, that's our shipping area. We close that off to people. You're not allowed back there. Unless you want to do the shipping for us, we're perfectly fine with that. On the second floor is where our warehouse is. We do allow people to come into our warehouse by appointment. This room is what we call our dye room and it's getting a little dark out. So these are all of our dyes. We hang all the new ones on the end here. And we have our Gina Marie's. We also have stamps in this room. Here's some of our Gina Marie stamps. We have some um, tins and storage items and ribbons and all of our inks and embossing powders and sprays are in here. And chalks, pens, and something else that I did not get a chance to do this week because I was so busy making card kits is get all of this stuff in our clearance section on our website. So I'm hoping to be able to get a bunch of it on by next week. So keep checking our website. At least by the end of the year, I'm hoping to have it all on. This is our alphabet alley. It has all of our alphabet, our thickers and any other brand alphabet that we, stickers that we have, some paper and miscellaneous gets put in this section. And then here's our paper and stickers are all organized by theme. We have sports going all the way around. I think we have just about every theme, hopefully. And our tools are on the back wall. Templates and anything else. Solid paint, solid card stocks. Hunting, fishing, outdoors. All of that good stuff right there. Kids and baby, military, Christmas, spring. Here's all of our albums. And then we have adhesive. And then we have our glitter papers. I want to show them this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we have this on our website. Our customers in the store love this glitter paper. They come in just to get this. Sorry, in our warehouse. These are fun. I'm always running out of these, like, because everybody loves them. Those are the brushed. These are the regular glitters. Just wanted to show you that because you really don't get the full effect in the picture until you see them in person. They're gorgeous. Okay. I think that shows you a little bit of our warehouse. So when I refer to the warehouse in the videos, you know what we're talking about. Then the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about was our um, design. I'm sorry. He pointed the camera at me and I get nervous when he points the camera at me. Our design team contest, our 2021 design team. We're looking for 
to add two new members to our design team for 2021. You can go on our website and on the very top tab, it says, I can't remember like collections and stuff, but on there it'll say design team contest 2021. You can find out all the details. Please enter it. We want as many entries to choose from as we can. You have from November 20th to November 30th to turn stuff in for the first round. You can either make a card, a page, or another like a home decor project using preferably our dies. You can use any brand of dies, but we prefer that you use our dies. We understand some of you might not have our dies though, so we're allowing you to use other brands for this round. And then on December 1st or 2nd, we will draw my staff and I, which consists mostly of my family, but we will pick 10, the top 10 projects, and then they will go on to an online vote, probably on Facebook. We're trying to figure out how to set up voting on our site, but I haven't been able to do it, so we might have to vote on Facebook. But anyway, go on there and check that out, please. We need, I know so many of you are so talented, and I've seen gorgeous things that you do with our dyes, and I'd like to be able to share that with everyone. All right, well, that's it for, for our class or for our craft along kit. Thank you for joining, and we will see you next time.